Hi everyone, welcome to the lab. I think it's time to get a microscope for the lab, for soldering and inspection and for making better videos, so I can look at something and record at the same time. I watched some reviews and uh, hesitated for quite a while. These things are not cheap and I don't have much room in the lab. And finally I decided to get myself this kit which is an Eakins microscope with an articulated arm from Aliexpress from this store, I'm not sure how to pronounce it and maybe this articulated arm is a mistake perhaps a dual boom stand would work better in my circumstances, I'm not sure perhaps it will take a few iterations to get things right so this adventure begins here, off we go Here it is in two pieces, the articulated arm is in a separate box. Here we are inside. All pieces out of the box. And this is the main part. And now a side view. A holder with focus adjustment eye pieces and eye cups three objective lenses 2x, 1x and uh, 0.5x 1x is just for protection full HD camera and this is the other side of it ring light, power supplies, remote control and USB cable we have a problem a camera adapter is missing altogether and this 0.5x Barlow lens has a chip in the glass. I complained to the seller and they promised to send me replacements. Here is the articulated arm. I plan to mount this thing next to the magnifier lamp. Here it is. I am not entirely happy with this setup. The arm effectively wastes a lot of uh, bench space where I put my soldering tools before, but this seems to be the best I can do. And there is one more problem. When I use this 0.5x Barlow lens, the microscope sits quite a bit higher above the bench, so I need to sit higher as well to look through the eyepieces. But my office chair is already at the highest position. So I need to do something about it. A camera adapter and a new Barlow lens have arrived. And now with the camera attached we can try recording something. This is a memory module for a desktop computer. And look at this horrible noise from the camera, especially in dark areas. And also the field of view is quite a bit narrower compared to what I can see through the eyepieces. I can see all four chips and a little more. I've seen in one of the reviews, I believe it was on the SDG Electronics channel, that uh, this particular problem with the field of view can be solved by using a 0.35x camera adapter. This will add some distortions straight lines will appear slightly bent, but I think I would prefer that. I don't quite like this camera. For instance, it's quite difficult to take out an SD card from it or put it in. It's not enough to push flush to the surface, you need to go below the surface, so you need to use some tool and it's not quite convenient, or maybe you can manage with a fingernail. So, uh, yeah, really awkward. And also, if the camera was on and I want to take out the card, the camera shuts off. And the same thing if I put it in, if the camera was on, it shuts off. Why? I don't understand this. Very inconvenient. And now the camera started misbehaving. Look, this worked before. If I press uh, record, uh, the symbol appears, I believe it goes into this mode, then I press again, it should start recording. 
but HDMI disappears. It worked before. What the? I am not entirely sure yet, but it seems to me that this power supply for the camera, which goes with it, is at fault. 12 volts, 1 amp. It's quite small and light. And when I tried using this power supply, I happen to have 12 volts, amp and a half, and the connector fits, the problem disappeared. And now look, with my power supply, I press record, and it started recording. I press stop, and it stopped, no problem. So, what's the conclusion? The microscope is fine. I am still not sure that this articulated arm was a good idea in my case, and it's quite expensive to change now. The camera leaves much to be desired in my view, but, well, it works and it is affordable. So, I think uh, this uh, kit will help me to work on some more projects and make some more interesting videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.